Episode 6 is out, and it's a roller coaster of emotions. It was pretty complicated and intense, and I felt sorry for most of the characters in just 50 minutes. The episode starts with Julia. In the latest episode, we learned that she finally sold the house, and this episode gives us more details about the sale. Apparently, she sold the house to a lovely family, and it broke my heart. Because earlier, the lovely family that was living there was Susanna, Jaron Conrad. No matter how strong and cold Julia seems, we all know that it's not true. Because when Skye goes to talk to her about the sale, we can see it in her eyes that she's not happy either. Skye thinks that the summer house is the only thing that's left to connect them and Susanna's boys, so they believe they should keep the house. On the other hand, Julia still believes that they're not wanted in Cousins Beach, and she still tries to deal with her traumas. We see that she has always felt like she's not welcomed there, and selling the house is like a closure to everything that has happened. I can't blame her for feeling that way. Now that Susanna is gone, Julia doesn't have the chance to get a closure by talking through everything. But I believe she could have done so much better than to sell the house. After all, she's a grown-up, and she has two young nephews who are ready to embrace her and Skye. Anyways, the kids finally accept their fate, and they decide to throw a party because they believe their last memory with this house should be nice, not depressing. To get prepared for the party, we see that Conrad calls for Belly to get some drinks, and we see that Jer wants to be included in this plan too. I believe he doesn't want to leave those two alone more than necessary because he still has feelings for Belly. But well, he's not the only one. In the store, Belly ends up getting a special drink for Jer, but not for Conrad, so he gets a little jealous too. The next destination is another store where they can get some party stuff like decoration and everything. When Belly runs into Conrad in an aisle, she wants to talk about the obvious, the funeral. Okay, now the funeral was a mess. I don't think I've seen anything like this before. But she's been feeling bad about this for a while, and she says she's really sorry about what happened. After her apology, Conrad tells Belly his side of the story. Apparently, he was having a panic attack that day, and that's why he was comforted by another girl because she simply found him in a bad condition. Later on, Jer tells Belly that she still looks at Conrad in the same way she did when she was a kid. He thinks she has feelings for him. To be fair, I don't know what Belly really feels, and the worst part is I think she's confused too. Whenever she gets a moment with any of the brothers, she gets confused and she doesn't know what to do anymore. As you already got the picture by now, the whole episode successfully built a tension between those three characters. We'll talk about the details soon, but first, let's take a look at what others are up to. We see Cam and Skye get closer in the party and they even share a cute kiss together. There goes Skye's first kiss. I've been observing these two for a while, and I believe they are really sweet together. What do you think? As for Steven and Taylor, they're doing their best to show off their skills. Can I just say this choreography is on fire? I hope Miley Cyrus gets to see that scene. After their little show, Steven comes clean and shares his feelings about her. As they get closer to kiss, Taylor's boyfriend Milo shows up and he's about to cause some trouble and drama. I just felt it as soon as I saw his face. Meanwhile, Jer brings some beer to Belly, and as they were about to kiss, Milo and Steven's fight interrupts them. To be honest, I'm glad it didn't happen. Not because I would prefer Conrad, but because I think it's not healthy now. Belly's feelings are complicated, and it wouldn't be the best thing to do now. Well, after they almost kissed, they immediately go and see what's happening, and I can say that the fight was really cringy, don't you think? After the fight, we see Skye giving some good news to the kids. Apparently, they were talking to Julia about the house, and Skye got a deal. Thanks to their efforts, the new owners agreed to rent the house to the brothers for one week every summer. Now, Belly and Jer get really excited to hear the news, but Conrad, on the other hand, is pretty depressed. To be honest, I'm on Conrad's side on this. This will never be the same. The house, their memories, the furniture, everything is going to change, and it won't be their house anymore. They will just spend their time in someone else's house, and that's it. It won't be as magical as it used to be. Jer gets angry to see Conrad's determination about not accepting this. He argues with him and blames him in every possible way. He even says that Conrad wasn't there for Susanna, 
and he also immediately gave up on Belly when things got harder. But most importantly, he tells how he used to look up to Conrad earlier, and now he wouldn't even bother to know him if he had the chance. It was really heartbreaking to see them arguing, and in my humble opinion, Jer's language was really strong. It felt like he was filled with hatred and anger towards Conrad, and he just exploded when the time came. Belly gets uncomfortable because she feels like she's the main reason why these two got into an argument, and she just gets a bottle and goes to the beach. She's drunk, broken, depressed, and I feel really bad for her. Thankfully, Conrad goes after her and she just breaks down saying that she would fight if she knew how much Conrad really cared about their relationship. Then she goes back to the house and we see she's in the middle of the crowd while Jer and Conrad simply wait for her. Her feelings and thoughts are a mess now, so she goes upstairs and calls her mom to tell everything by leaving a voicemail. Through the end of this episode, we see Stephen going near Taylor to say sorry. He also asks how she feels about him and, well, she kisses him. At least we had some nice things this episode. As for Belly, Jer, and Conrad, I can say that everything's more complicated than ever. I feel like at some point she needs to make a decision, and no matter how she tries, I believe at the end of the day, one of the brothers will get heartbroken all over again. What do you think will happen in the upcoming episode? Who will Belly end up with? Will Jer and Conrad work on their problems? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you soon.